What's going on, everybody? This is a video discussion today from Jacob Viral. On um, this one, I don't have a lot of experience with, but I'm going to be discussing, and that is ratios of bandpass enclosures. Whether you have a sixth order or a fourth order, or even an eighth order, I don't really know much about eighths, but at least for fourths and sixth orders. So, what ratio should you choose, and why, and what are the differences and options of it? So, this is something that you definitely want to look into on forums or websites, as well as graphs. Uh, it's getting to get a little loud for a second. Someone's driving by. But for my single single tenant subwoofer build, uh, my current ratio is, if anybody has it, there's video updates on this on my channel. Uh, it's a five and a half to one ratio, almost six ratio. Uh, this is definitely not the ratio you want to choose, especially on a musical range. But for SPO or how, higher output at really peaky responses, that's a good option. Um, so anyway, back to ratios. So fourth order enclosures to start. Um, sixth orders I don't know about I don't really want to talk about much you guys can give me good feedbacks on that but for fourth orders is the most focus of this video is what ratio to choose and why so so I chose a big ratio because I wanted to have a really high frequency range peak response without good bandwidth but you want to normally choose between a one and a three to one ratio and before I go into that what is ratio so every one cube sealed or one cube ported of your sixth order to the other seal the other section the ported enclosure or the other second ported enclosure of your sixth so one to one would mean one cube sealed one cube ported or one cube ported one cube ported for the sealed and fourth order ported or for your sixth is your two ported enclosures so one and one equals one to one ratio if you have two cubes sealed and then four cubes ported that's a two to one ratio because you have double ported as you have sealed so and then you go into triple, which is three to one ratio, which is you have one cube sealed, then three cubes ported. So that's a three to one ratio, fourth order. It could be a one to three, depending on how you look at it. Everybody just says the big number first because it's just easier to understand that way. And then you can have negative ratios where your sealed section would be bigger than your ported enclosure. So that's the sealed. Use this concept. Don't worry about the looks and all. It's not pretty, but it works for me. So sealed section is that box. And then ported section is the rest of it. This is a ported fourth order. Um, so it has one port and then it has a sealed section so goes into what should you choose so most people that want to have uh, a ratio fourth order or anything you want to start with a minimum of at least a one and a half to two ratio so that why that reason the saying is your bandwidth is going to be a lot more clean cut than a ported enclosure you're also going to be louder output than a four, uh, ported enclosure because normally a one-to-one -one ratio ported enclosure is going to be pretty close hand-to-hand -hand with this i could be wrong but this is what i've learned from other people so normally go with at least a one to point five to one or a two to one ratio most people start around a two to one ratio so you have one cube sealed per two cubes ported so whatever the specs are of your enclosure let's say you have a 15 inch and a three uh two cubes so then that means your ported enclosure needs to be a minimum of two cubes ported one cube or four cubes ported two cubes sealed for a two to one ratio so you want to choose if you want to stay musical go around a 1.5 to two to one ratio for really musical what i mean by that is you have a flat response this is where you want to look into forms this is just explanation concept so imagine a graph and then that graph has a slow peak but it doesn't slope off as bad as somebody that has a three to one or a five to one where you have a higher peak but when you get a higher peak what happens is your bandwidth response shrinks so it's going to be less flat for a lower ratio a higher peak um less flat for a bigger ratio so if that makes sense maybe it doesn't maybe it does um you guys can help me with that one so um anyway so the ratio is going to be first on how much space you have as well um, but if you want a musical response ratio, then do go with a 1.5 to, to 2. And if you want to start getting into, um, you can even be musical with the 3 or 4 or 5. It's just what happens is, is you're going to higher peak, so you're not going to be able to play as loud. So let's say I peak at 45 hertz for my enclosure. So at 40 hertz, I might lose a dB or 2, 40 hertz to 45 hertz. But if I was a 2 to 1, my dB would be like 35 to 45 hertz with 1 or 2 dB loss versus a 40 to 45 hertz 2 dB loss. So... That bigger ratio, I don't have as much of a loss per frequency range response with a lower ratio. But with a bigger ratio, you're normally going to have a lot more peaky. You're going to slope off a lot faster. So, like, for example, my, my um, 6 to 1, 5 and a half to 1 ratio fourth right now, if I drop 5 frequencies, I literally will lose like 3 or 4 dB because of the peak on how it works. So, it's like 4 to 5 dB difference in output with 5 or 6 hertz difference. So... Between 43 and 47 hertz is really loud. And then if I go to 38 hertz or like 50, 
hertz, 48 hertz, I literally lose like four to five dB. That's because of a big ratio. So you don't have as much of a, you don't have as big of a flat in response as you do with somebody that would have like a two to one ratio. So a two to one ratio, you would be a lot more clean. You'll have a big, a little peak, but it'll flat off and you could be able to play bigger frequency range with around the same decibel output. Bigger ratios still can play musically. They just aren't gonna be as loud or outside of the peak areas. So that's why a lot of people say you can still be musical with a big ratio. It's just all about that. So hope that makes sense there. Um, and that's the video. Let me know if that makes sense to you. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know with that. With sixth orders, most people stay around a one to a two to one ratio, maybe three ratio max. But with fourth orders, people will go all the way up to like a 10 to one ratio. But I wouldn't always range sticking around a two to a three to one ratio max for fourths. Um, and then six are normally a one to one, two to one ratio for musical range. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And of course, I'm not the best at this, not optimal. This is just learning experience for me. And this is a video that I get asked a lot, so I needed a commentary on it. I could have done it on paper or a computer, it would have been a lot more explained, but that's it. I'll see y'all next time.